Welcome back. This is Excel Module 3, the textbook project, and this will be part two. We're going to begin with section 3-6 where we enter a date function in there. Basically, a date actually is a value, a number that is after the January 1st, 1900, and it's actually signed uh, number one in it. Just how many days since that? So I wouldn't really worry too much about that. Just think about the dates and you can see all the different functions in table 3-3 which is day now month time time value year hour and minute so they're very very useful so in a2 which is right here we are going to put in the date and time button from the function library so here's date and time and let me see which one it wants us to do it wants us to do today which is obviously july 13th if i click on ok it should put in july 13th in there so i'm going to just show you a little something i'm going to format this to a number and notice that's how many days it actually is from january 1st of 1900 so i knew that you all know that answer right there so let me undo this and we're back to the date. So it doesn't really want us to use this right now because every time you open this up, it will change it to the current date. So if it wants a hard date, we have to tell it we want a hard date. So we're going to go in and use the date function this time. And here's the date. And then you type in the year first. And then you type in the month and then you type in the date so let's type in 2021 and then we're going to type in 2 and 24 and we'll click on ok and it should give you the 2021 if you have a mac it might just say 21 in there so on the home tile we're going to click the cell styles ribbon and we're going to do 20 percent accent one so let's go to home Let's go 20% accent one. And that looks good. I'm looking at the figure in three. So let's go to the next section, which is working with equation tools. So you're actually going to create an equation in here. So we're going to click on the formula documentation. And it's going to actually allow us to create an equation. So. What you want to do is you need to click on, we're going to click on insert. And if you click on equation, we'll click the drop down arrow here. And that kind of does not give us what we want. So we're going to actually click on the button itself. And it gives us all these different things over here. So we what we want to do here is we want the stack fraction button which we'll click the drop down arrow and here is a stock stack fraction so it gives us things that we can put in the top and in the bottom i'll make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to work with and i'm actually going to move it over here and so let's go to tells us to put in the numerator And you'll see it expand as we type year revenue and notice the parentheses minus previous year revenue and then we'll click on the bottom which of course is the denominator and type previous year revenue And then it tells us to move it to A9. So we can just move it and drag it over here to A9. And then we're going to click A1. And let's see if it tells us to do anything else. Does not tell us to do anything else. So we're looking good there. So I'm going to save this here. I actually have not saved it yet. Uh, which is not a very good thing to do. So I'm going to save it as revenue. 
and I already did it, so I'll get the replace error. And let's go and move on to the next one. We're now on uh, three eight, which is control worksheet calculations. So if you have a lot of calculations, every time you make a change, it goes and recalculates the entire workbook. So that could mean a delay. So there's an option that you can actually turn it off. So we're gonna click on the A N A revenue worksheet over here. Then we're gonna go to the file tab and options. There's actually an easier way to do this, which you'll see in a minute. So we're gonna click on file and options and click on formulas. So right now it's automatic. That means every time you make a change, uh, everything gets recalculated. We click on manual means only calculate it when we're told to calculate it or uh, when you save it in here. So let's click on okay. And that was the step number one. We've done all that stuff in here. So now we're going to click in cell B3. And it wants us to change it to. Now notice the office is 130903. Uh, I may have missed the. I um, have to go back and see if I missed any of the formatting. So let's click on 34305. And. Change that there, 34305, and notice that this will not change in there. So in the formulas tab, we're going to go back to formulas. We're going to go, and here's our calculate options. So notice that it has calculate now. So we can click now, and that should change the year revenue for New York, which it did. If you want to change your calculate options without having to go into the file and options, then we'll change it right there in automatic. So I apparently have missed some formatting. So I'm just going to go back in and format. To accounting. In there and I need to get rid of two decimal places. So I missed that step when I was going over there. Sorry about that. Uh, save your changes. Activate cell A1. And that takes care of that section. And that is everything that uh, for the textbook project in there. So hopefully this was help you. I would suggest when you get done with this, play around with some of these different things that you can do. Uh, I think it's kind of neat in here so you know go back in here and you can see the format custom and you can see all the different things that you can do in here uh, i think it's kind of neat that it has all these different things so feel free to uh work with some of these things and that's it for this video so hopefully it was helpful